Chapter 4. Magic. Niall Horan. I arrived in front of Niall's house, and before I could knock on his doors he opened them, catching me by surprise. Hi Bethany. Come inside. I followed him towards the living room. He went to get us a cup of coffee from the kitchen. In the meantime I watched the fire in the fireplace. The glowing embers leaped and twirled in a fiery dance, twinkling like stars in the hot swirling air, before cascading to earth like gleeful fire fiends, setting alight the tinder dry forest of high August. Niall interrupted my thoughts as he placed two cups of coffee on the table. The smooth, brown milk created a contrast with the mug that lay on the table with others of its kind. The lustrous texture topped with chocolate crumbles outdated the effect of the vibrant aroma that seemed to have extricated itself from the thick, cream coating over the surface, penetrating deep into my nose, watering my mouth. Can you believe it's Christmas Eve already? Niall smiled at me while taking a sip of his coffee. I love it more cause you are finally home. Not somewhere across the world, but right here next to me. Niall moved closer placing an arm around me, I've missed you too. I turned my head to look at him. To look into those eyes of his. They were blue. Not the ordinary sky blue, or he little flowers that spring up by the side of the road. His eyes were blue like the sea, crystal clear blue, shimmering and crashing and churning. Looking into his eyes you could hear the waves falling against the shore, see the foam flying into the air. His eyes were blue like the sky right before the sun disappears. His eyes were blue like that warm wool sweater that you put on when the air gets that chill, comfortable, warm, familiar. His eyes were that kind of blue. They shine so impossibly blue that I will spend the rest of my life believing he has his own sky inside of him. Do you want to play Jenga? He broke me out of my thoughts. Yeah, why not? The game was really intense. The blocks went so high up in the air that I was surprised at how they're even standing. With that thought I pulled out the wrong block, and the whole tower collapsed all over the table, and the floor. The laugh came from Niall like a newly sprung leak, timid at first, stopping and starting. He wasn't done yet though, I could tell from the way he rolled his blue eyes to the ceiling and half bit his lip. From deep inside his chest came a great shaking motion and his face muscles grew tight. I folded my arms, eyebrows arched, waiting. In moments Niall's laugh was more like a bust water main arching into the brilliant summer sky soaking everyone around him with unrestrained gales that debilitated him to a thigh-slapping and pick-faced picture of glee. I wanted to stay straight-faced, flip my hair and storm off, he was after all laughing at me, not with me. But before I could stop myself my poker straight mouth twitched upwards, and I was giggling despite myself. Suddenly, I am laughing so hard, I can't stop. I don't know why, but the waves of laughter keep coming. I try to catch my breath and snort. With each surge of laughter, I release some of the tension that is built between us. Perhaps my body could just not contain it any longer. I'm not sure, but as laughter fills me with joy, I know what I'm gonna do as an apology, Niall exclaimed. For making me laugh? Or, before I could finish my sentence he already walked out of the room. I sat on the couch twirling the ends of the dress in my hands while waiting for him. He sauntered into the room feeling quite proud and confident, carrying a guitar in his hands. The guitar was an ordinary brown wooden acoustic guitar. But what Niall did with it was far from ordinary. He was a genius, everyone said so. It was as if every time he had the opportunity he would make his guitar sing to him, it was his slave, and he was its master. I wrote this song for you. He said as he sat down next to me and placed the guitar on his lap. When I first saw you, I thought to myself, where have you been before? When you reach for my hand, time slows down. Only for that single touch of yours. When I look at you, my heart flutters. That is why I hide my eyes. And when you say my name, it's like music to my ears. A beautiful melody made just for me. You and I, we're driving down the road. The road where love is unconditional. And the real deal. You and I, we're gonna reach our destination. And smile back at the memories. 
of how we first met. When you try to make conversation, I'm talking back. But there are no words escaping my mouth. When I make a mistake, it's only so you can step in and correct me. When you smile, my body trembles. I am falling for your grace. And when I leave, I'm walking away with a smile on my face. Oh, Niall, that was so beautiful. I said as I stopped the single tear from traveling any further down my cheek. Thank you, Beth. I really want every day to be like this, with you. It doesn't matter where are we, as long as we're together. His eyes also started getting watery. You need to stop, you're making me cry. I said through the smile on my lips. Niall flashed me a smile bringing Harry Potter DVDs over. How about we watch them until we fall asleep? I nodded confirming to him. I was fine with it. He stretched out the couch and went to lay on it. I followed behind him and covered us with the blanket. I took a remote control and pressed play.